sometimes you'll have a problem in which you need to divide a measurement that has a mix of units with whole numbers or by whole numbers. So you will need to break these types of problems up into small, simple steps. Your first step is going to be that you're going to start with dividing the larger unit first by the whole number, and then you'll want to convert the remainder into smaller units and add it to the like smaller units. And thirdly, you'll continue with the division with the smaller units in the next number. So let's put these three steps into action with it with a problem. So I have a problem in which I am um, looking at measurements divided by whole numbers. But the difference here in this problem, as compared to the problems that we've already looked at, is that this measurement is a mixture of units, meters and centimeters. So we want to start with our first step, which is dividing the larger unit first by the whole number. So in this case, our larger unit is the meters, and I have 45 meters. So I'm going to begin by dividing 45 meters by my whole number 6. And so I want to look at first 45 meters divided by 6. So first I'm just going to look at the numbers, 45 divided by 6, and when I get my answer, I'm going to make sure and put those units of measure back into my answer. But let's look first at just the problem of 45 divided by 6. So what I want to do here is ask myself, what is 45 divided by 6, or what is the largest whole number that I can multiply by 6 and get as close to 45 as possible but be equal to or less than 45? So the answer to that question is 7, because 6 times 7 equals 42, and that will get me as close as I can get to 45, but still being less than 45. So I put my answer right here, and I continue with my work then of 7 times 6 equals 42, and I write it right here below my 45. 45 minus 42 equals 3. Now I don't have any more numbers to pull down here from the dividend, and so I'm going to leave this as remainder 3. So my remainder equals 3. And so, so far, what I have is I have this 45 meters, and since I was dividing it into units, of, or I was dividing it by 6, I'm, and I found my answer here, what I'm really looking at then is 45 meters equals 6 times 7 meters plus a remainder of 3 meters. So I'm just going to put a square around this here so that we can take a little bit of a better look at what we have. We have our first larger unit of measure, which we divided by 6. Our answer was 7. And so we have six equal parts, seven meters each, but then we have this remainder of three extra meters that don't fit into the equal divisions of seven meters each. And so what do we do here with this remainder? Well, what we do is our second step is to convert the remainder into the smaller unit of measure and add it to this smaller part here, and then we're going to divide that by 6. So let's take our remainder here of 3, of three meters. So I'm just going to go ahead and write it so that we keep track of what we have here. So we have our remainder of 3 meters. And I want to convert 3 meters into centimeters. Well, I know that 1 meter equals 100 centimeters, and so 3 meters is going to equal 300 centimeters. So 3 meters I'm going to convert to 300 centimeters. 
And then I'm going to take these 300 centimeters that I have as a remainder of my measurement, and I'm going to add that, that to 360, or sorry, to, I'm going to add the 300 centimeters to 60 centimeters, and my answer then will be 360 centimeters. So now I have the 300 centimeters, and I add that to the 60 centimeters that was in my original problem, and I have 360 centimeters. And so, what I do with this then, is I take this part now, and I divide it by six. And so I'm trying to come up with equal parts um, divided by six. So 360 centimeters divided by six, equals 60 centimeters. So now I have two parts to my answer. I have these seven meters that were found by dividing the 45 by six, seven meters, plus the remainder. I did my work on the remainder. I divided the remainder by six, and I ended up with 60 centimeters. So, taking all of my work, I can then report my answer. I'm going to erase all of this so that we can just see the answer. I would, um, I would take the answers that I got from all this work and put it right like this. 45 meters and 60 centimeters divided by 6 equals 7 meters... 60 centimeters. So that's how I would report my answer when I have a problem that has a mixture of units divided by a whole number. Another approach to this type of problem would be to convert to all the same units and then divide and convert your answer back then to mixed units. Let's take a look at one of these. So if I'm asked to divide seven meters, 20 centimeters by six, I could convert all of my measurements here to centimeters. So seven meters, 20 centimeters would equal seven times 100 because each meter is 100 centimeters. So these seven meters would be 700 centimeters plus the 20 centimeters to equal 720 centimeters. So that's the conversion of seven meters, 20 centimeters to all centimeters. Then I would take that 720 centimeters, divide it by six. The answer to that is 120 centimeters. But then I would need to convert back to mixed units for my answer. So my 120 centimeters would convert back to 100 centimeters plus 20 centimeters, and we know that every 100 centimeters equals one meter. And so this would convert back 120 centimeters to one meter, 20 centimeters. So this is another way of doing the calculations, although it involves larger and more complicated calculations, and so this is just another way to do this same type of problem with some of the bigger multiplications and divisions and some of the more complicated calculations.